Restoration is not a silver bullet. There is no silver bullet. This is also the sound of trees. Notice how there were no sounds of birds or insects. The songs of biodiversity are gone. That's because what you're hearing is not an ecosystem. It's a monoculture of one single tree species planted for rapid tree growth. Along with the biodiversity that used to live here, this local community has now lost the benefits those ecosystems provided, like clean water, soil fertility, and most urgently, protection from the intense fires that now threaten the region every summer. The UN suggests that almost half of reforested areas around the world are monocultures just like this, planted for rapid timber production or carbon capture. Just like a farm, these plantations may be valuable for timber, but they are not the restoration of nature. And monocultures are just one of the many ways we can damage ecosystems when we offset our emissions without considering the local ecology or the people that depend on it. And this view of trees as an easy way out is such a tempting perspective, but it is a real threat to the climate change movement. Restoration is not a silver bullet. There is no silver bullet. It is just one of a huge portfolio of solutions that we so desperately need. The problem is clear. We know we need to reduce our emissions and draw the existing carbon out of the atmosphere. Stop the damage and start the repair. This is Restore an open data platform for the restoration movement, providing free ecological insights to show which species of trees, grasses, or shrubs might exist in that region. Monitoring of projects so that we can all see the developments happening on the ground. And most importantly, for the sharing of ecological information so that restoration organizations can learn from one another and so that funders can find and track projects to support. Restore is a digital ecosystem for restoration. The more data the community uploads, the stronger the predictions get, and the more informed action we can all take. Putting the learnings of thousands of projects into the hands of people everywhere. The word restore is defined as the act of returning something back to its original state. But it's also the act of returning it back to its original owners. The restoration of nature is for the local biodiversity and the communities that depend on it. And as that network grows, the collective action benefits everyone. And these benefits go far beyond the threat of climate change. Even if climate change stopped right now, the protection and rebuilding of Earth's biodiversity would still be a top priority because it underpins all life on Earth. It can help us with all other global threats, including extreme weather events, droughts, food shortages, and global pandemics. But global restoration won't be easy, and it will not be solved by tech solutions alone. These tools can inform us, but ultimately, the challenge is one that can only be addressed by us, by all of us. Just like the interdependent species that make up natural ecosystems, we humans are deeply dependent on one another. We need the immense network of limitless connections, the farmers and project leaders on the ground to make use of sustainable products. The scientists, governments, NGOs, businesses, you, me, we are all needed to keep this movement going. We need the whole ecology of humanity.